The goal of Phase 2 exercises is to progress the difficulty of those learned in Phase 1. You'll progress the quadricep strength and start to integrate more movement of multiple joints. These exercises should be done for about 3 to 6 weeks, but you may need a longer period of time, 6 to 10 weeks, to accomplish them well. To do this, you need a sturdy, firm chair that lets you sit at a height with your knee and hip joints bent to 90 degrees. Start by sitting tall and upright on the chair. You can use your hands to hold onto the edge of the seat for balance. Slowly extend your knee out to straighten the leg by contracting your quads. Hold this position for 5 seconds, then slowly return your knee back to the bent knee starting position. The emphasis on this exercise should be on the slow bend or return of the knee back to the starting position. Be sure that you keep a good upright posture throughout this exercise. Don't slump in the chair or bend over from the waist. Do 3 to 4 sets of 10 to 12 reps. This exercise is done lying on your back on a firm surface. The opposite knee is bent to 90 degrees with the foot resting on the floor. Tighten the muscles of the quadriceps in the straight leg, keeping your toes pointed towards the ceiling, and slowly lift the leg up so that it's parallel to the thigh on the bent opposite knee. Hold that position for 5 seconds, then slowly lower the leg back to the ground. Don't let the leg fall back to the floor, rather you should concentrate on lifting the leg down and letting the muscles work while moving the leg both up and down in this exercise. Do 3-4 to four sets of 10-12 to 12 reps. Laying on your back on a firm surface, bend the knee to 90 degrees with your feet firmly on the ground. To start off and make this exercise a bit easier, you can rest your arms on the floor beside you. To make this exercise a bit harder, you can cross your arms over your chest. Knees and feet should be shoulder width apart, and it's important during this exercise to maintain good technique and not let the knees or feet cave in or roll in. To do this exercise properly, you need to push through your heels and lift your body and bum off the floor to a position where the hips and knees are in a straight line to the torso. Don't use your back to extend or arch off the ground. Hold this bridge position for 5 seconds, then lower your body with control back to the starting position. Don't let your bum just fall back to the floor. Do 3 to 4 sets of 10 to 12 reps. To do this exercise, you need a firm chair such as a kitchen chair. Sit tall on the chair with your back straight and your feet flat on the ground, shoulder width apart and toes facing forward. Grasp your hands together in front of your chest. Lean forward so your nose is over your toes and with your quad strength, slowly stand up by pushing down through your legs. To ensure proper form and technique to this exercise, you must not let your knees fall in or out. Rather, you should keep the middle of your kneecap in line with your second and third toes. The emphasis on this exercise is on the control of the motion to rise out of the chair and then to slowly lower yourself back into the chair in a sitting position. Do this exercise 10 to 12 reps, 3 to 4 sets. When you're strong enough, you can modify this exercise to be a bit harder by squatting or lowering only to just touch the chair but not sit down. <laughs> 